Okay. So, let, uh, in the last class, we have discussed about uh, what are the steps involved in uh, designing a lexical analyzer. Okay. And we started with the first step that is representing the valid tokens of a language in terms of uh, what we call as regular expression. Okay. Now, uh, today we will continue our discussion from there. So, so for representing valid tokens in terms of uh, regular expression, we need certain basic representation. So, I will today I will tell you about those things. So, so I have already told you if a is a regular expression then what does a star means a star implies zero or more occurrences of a okay that means it can be it can be empty okay it can be A, it can generate A, A, it can generate A, 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 like this, okay. Second is, what will be A plus, okay. In programming, uh, means in uh, scanner design, in lexical analyzer design, uh, uh, in, in uh, using flex, we use the regular expression notation A plus, this which means, one or more occurrences of A. Okay. So, what does that mean? So, that is equal to, it can be, it can, I can write it as, first you should get a A and then followed by it has A star. Okay. So, so it should have one A followed by zero or more occurrences of A. Okay, which means it is a concatenation of A and A star. Okay, thirdly, there is something called A question mark. Okay, what does this mean? This means either 0 or 1 occurrence of A. Okay, so it can be what? So this can be either A or empty. Okay. Also in uh, uh, representing the patterns in terms of regular expression, we, we use like this kind of thing, A to Z. What does this mean? This means A or B or C up to Z. Okay. Any letter, lowercase letter is represented like A hyphen Z. Okay, so so with this uh, small operators, small set of operators, we build the entire regular expression patterns. Okay, so let us start with an example. Uh, just a second. So suppose in a given language, I say that digit is any decimal number is a digit is any symbol that is 0 or 1 or 2 up to 9 okay these are digits so how will you represent it in a regular expression you will represent it as I have already told you 0 to 9 okay now now suppose I have a sign bit okay so sign can be either plus or minus okay now with this digit and sign my next job is to create a pattern or regular expression for representing decimal number so my token is a my token is a decimal number okay now how I can represent that in terms of digit and sign okay 
so so tell me so decimal number may or may not have a sign so i can say sign so it has only one occurrence okay zero or one occurrence of sign followed by okay the digit can be what it can be either zero okay or any symbol between 1 to 9 followed by digit star any doubt so a decimal number i can start with a sign plus or minus okay or i may not start with a sign so that is why i have put a question mark zero or one occurrence okay i cannot have multiple occurrences of sign then a number can be either a zero plain zero or it can have it can be a single digit number that is 1 to 9 or it can be double digit numbers that is 1 to 9 followed by digit star okay so this way we represent the regular expression for the token decimal number now let us uh, so suppose i define that a given variable should next is a given variable so a variable we call it as identifier in terms of compiler terminology okay so a given variable should start with a letter or and it can end it can have any digit or letter in between then how will i represent a variable how will i create a regular expression for the token variable or identifier so i can say that first let us start with a letter what can be a letter so my letter is what it can be a to z or capital a to capital z understand now i am saying that my variable should start with a letter okay so i can say that identifier is equal to i can have what i can have letter followed by the concatenation of letter followed by what letter or digit star understood so this way and for letter i have a regular expression a to z to capital a to capital z and for digit i have 0 to 9 so in this way we represent the identifier for a given language okay now you may say now there are two rules involved okay now for uh, for example i have a Uh, input string called int eight. Okay, now int eight while while matching each character and trying to map it with a given pattern or regular expression, so we start with i. Okay, so i can only match an identifier pattern. Then it goes to in n. Now n so so the so the substring now becomes prefix string becomes i n. and i n is also an identifier as per the rule then i n t so as soon as i get i n t now i n t can be mapped to what a keyword int that is the data type or a normal identifier okay so i have multiple things so i i now try to take so oh, one step further to see what extra characters i have so i have now int 8 and int 8 is clearly an identifier so the way i am trying to match is called what we call as longest match rule okay what does this mean let me type it so longest match rule says among all the tokens that match just a minute so 
so so among all the tokens that So let me write it again. Among all the tokens that match a given input string, only choose the one, okay? Choose the one. So just a minute. So choose the one having uh, choose the one that matches the most characters. Okay. There is another rule called as rule priority this tells me that if keyword and identifier are matching A given input string then keyword has the highest priority understand so suppose my input string is int okay now now as per the regular expression of an identifier int matches an identifier but I have also predefined set of keywords for a given language and hence int for a given language C language is a keyword that is data type. It represents integer data type. So this rule priority says that if both keyword and identifier are matching a given input string then keyword should be given the highest priority and hence that input string should be mapped to the keyword token understand so this way we create the regular expressions for valid tokens and perform pattern matching to see which token uh, it, a given input string belongs to